Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna to show you guys 10 ways to use your washi tape. There's gonna be a bunch of decorative ideas, but also functional ideas. So I hope you'll stay for the full video because I'm hoping that there's going to be at least a couple ideas that you've never heard of before. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So tip number one is to make little stickers out of your washi tape. Now I got a bunch of really beautiful washi tape from the washi tape shop here in Toronto and I'll link everything down below, but they have these really beautiful washies that are actually already pre-cut into stickers. I don't know if you can tell, but it's amazing that it's already pre-cut because it's still that really thin washi paper, but it's already pre-cut, right? So it's, it's basically a sticker on a washi. But of course, if you have washi tape that doesn't come in stickers kind of like this or just ones that are designed, but it's not a sticker, just cut around it and make it into a sticker, right? And what I love about that is it's a really easy way to get things to match on your paper without having to buy like sticker kits and all that kind of stuff. Cause you can use one, for example, as you know, a little decorative kind of rectangle sticker and then cut out a little piece of floral and put it somewhere else and they'll kind of match, right? And it's all done with one little washi tape. So I really, really love that. And so then that, that's tip number one. Tip number two, you guys have probably heard of already before and is to use your washi basically as tape. So this is one of the first ways that I've always used my washi because I love to tape in like little journaling cards um, cause I don't know, it just adds a little something and it's really easy. Or sometimes if I make a note somewhere really quickly and I wanna add it into my planner and it's not a sticky note, then I can just tape it in. A lot of times I find that too, is that if you do it this way, you're not worried about like having sticky tape on hand all the time and you can just add it in subsequently. And it actually looks prettier in my opinion than a sticky note because you kind of have this little additional picture thing here, right? That ties in with the rest of your planner. So that's tip number two. Now tip number three is to use it as a bookmark. And how you would do that is you would basically get the washi tape, pull out a strip, and you can do it the length, the length of your planner if you want, or you can you know just do a little strip like mine and just do it along the edge then if you're flipping through a bunch of pages you can easily figure out you know your important pages that are either color coded or you know just the pages that are special you're trying to just mark those off and you have it with the washi tape so you can easily identify that page so i really love that idea and what's great is like you could do that with any planner whether it's a small size planner or a bigger size planner i'm using you know, half letter discs. It's a bigger planner, you know, so there's more real estate and you can do a lot of different things with washi, but sometimes with a smaller size planner, like a pocket size, maybe you don't have as much room, but this is one idea that you can use with every size, okay? And just to let you guys know, this is just a printable digital planner, actually. Well, it's just a digital planner I printed and I'll link everything down below if you're interested or wondering what this is. Um, so the next tip is to actually, I haven't done it here, but is to basically use washi tape to reinforce the edges of your inserts. So if you're using rings or disc bound like me, what you would do is add the washi tape on the edge here and then punch it and you would punch it and then with the washi tape already there so that it reinforces these holes. So if you guys are in rings, I've been in rings for a long time, a lot of the time, if you're flipping back and forth or whatever, these edges start to, you know, kind of get ripped a little bit. Or even if you remember those three ring binders, you could get those little circle reinforcements. I'm really dating myself. Um, but that's basically a way to do it, but it looks a lot prettier. So really relevant for those of you guys who are using rings or discs. So that's the next tip. And the next tip after that, I don't even know what number I'm on now is to use your washi tape as color coding system. So for example, I use one washi for my husband, his name's John, and then I have two daughters and I could use like a different pattern of washi for my girls. Now, of course, if you just have like one colored washi, plain colored washi, that would be a great option to use to color code throughout your system. And of course it doesn't have to be by person. You could do, you know, one for work, one for home, and that just makes things stand out really easily. It's a really fun way to use your washi. 
So the next tip that I have here is to use border, use it as a border. And I would say that this is probably one of the oldest and easiest ways to use your washi is I find if I just add, you know, one strip at the bottom or one at the top, it just adds a little something to my spread. Now, I don't like to do, I wouldn't recommend doing top and bottom. I think that just gets a little too matchy-matchy, a little bit tacky in my opinion. Um, so I just like to do the one for a little bit of accent and I like it when it's a little bit asymmetrical. So instead of doing, you know, top and bottom to match, what I would do is it brings me to my next tip, which is use it as little accents or highlights within use either like your weekly spread or a daily spread or whatever types of spreads you use. So here, of course, is my weekly page. And if I want to highlight kind of Saturday as a special day, I would use my washi and cut it into like a little ribbon. And then that would kind of highlight my day. And it also matches my border, but you know, it makes it look cute and not overdone. And that's kind of all I would do on one page instead of adding the washi everywhere. So that's my next tip. And then after that is to use the washi as a little line. And what that does is I like to use this to divide my planner pages. So for those of you guys who maybe are using like a bigger size, like an A5 or, you know, half letter or even personal wide and say you want to categorize how you're doing things in your page, right? Recently, I started um, using my digital planner and this is my digital Hobonichi weeks or sorry, digital Hobonichi cousin. And so because the daily pages are so large and I don't need one page just for tasks, for example, I've been incorporating my memory planning here, which I am really loving because on a digital planner, you can insert it really easily, right? And then so on the top, I might do some memory planning. And then on the bottom, I might do some, you know, actual task. And I just put a little strip of washi to separate the two. And all I did was I took this and I cut a little sliver of it and I just pasted it here. And now it's separated the two sides. And I think it's a really functional way to use your washi tape. Okay, so the next tip I have, I think this is actually tip number eight. This is a really cute idea that I saw somebody do on Instagram, which is to use washi tape on the end of a paper clip. And how cute is that? I just took two little strips of washi and this is really beautiful washi again from the washi tape shop. And I just cut it and pasted it together or stuck them together. And now it's like a little ribboned paper clip. And look how cute that is, right? So that's tip number nine, I think actually. I said eight, but it's actually nine. And my last tip here, tip number 10, is to use your washi as correction tape. So instead of whiting out a mistake, cover it up with the washi like I did here. And it just adds a little something to your page, at least I think it does. Then, you know, the whiteout marks always look terrible. And so if you just use it as correction tape and cover it over, it looks like you did it intentionally. So I don't know, I think it adds something to your spread. So that was basically my 10 tips on how to use washi tape. If you found something that was new to you, please let me know down below, as well as if you had any other additional ideas, please let me know. And thank you guys so much for watching. If you found it helpful, please consider subscribing and giving this video a thumbs up as it really does help support my channel. And then I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.